Welcome to Active's EU Tweets of the Week. Back in the studio. One year since elections has left us all scarred. A trip during lockdown hits Cummings' rep hard. And Ursula von der Leyen channels Jean-Luc Picard. This week we are supported by EDAA. More about them later on. This week marked 12 months since the European Parliament elections. I know, hard to believe. On the anniversary, Beatrice Rios reminded us, Brexit, the Iran-US tensions, a new migration crisis at the Greek border, a pandemic, a recession, and it's only been one year. But what a year, said Jorge Agrado. Many, including the European Greens, posted their throwback pics, while Alicia Lewis said it feels really weird that there are no British MEPs anymore. BCW Brussels asked what had been the most relevant issue impacting the Parliament, Brexit, COVID-19 or the Green Deal. At last count, the pandemic was out in front. But MEP assistant cut to the chase. Let's be honest, the one achievement they're secretly the most proud of is being able to find their own office. This week, we are supported by the European Interactive Digital Advertising Alliance. You can check out their latest consumer research online. In the UK, the media was agog at the comings and goings of Boris Johnson's chief aide after it emerged that Dominic Cummings had broken the very lockdown rules he helped to create. This story isn't going away anytime soon, said the Daily Mail's Pippa Querar. It's been a fumbling two months of crisis response, but it took Dom Cummings' 260-mile dash to Durham to turn the UK public against Boris Johnson, pointed out Martina Steves. One of the more eye-opening excuses offered by Cummings for a trip to Barnard Castle tourist spot was that he wanted to check his eyesight. And naturally, Twitter reacted like this. And this. And this. Even Brewdog created a special beer to mark the occasion. Donald Tusk, ever the wag, quipped, this is apparently Cummings and his Brexit friends rule. They leave when they should stay. But much respect to Dutch PM Mark Rutte for abiding by the rules, even though it meant he couldn't visit his dying mother in her final weeks. Finally, on Wednesday, Commission President Ursula von der Leyen set out her plan for Europe's future. Hashtag Next Generation EU. So, you name a policy after a sci-fi classic, what do you think is going to happen? Sam Morgan reckons there's a trek head in the Berlimont Collective. Miguel Carrion expects the plan to boldly go where no Eurocrat has gone before. The FT's Jim Brunsden says, make it so. Although, as Holger Heistermeyer pointed out, the FT's main pick was not of the next generation. Please make sure to hire a nerd. The commission is much more Picard than Kirk. But back to the detail, Alexander Stubb tweeted, I think this is a good, ambitious package. And yes, I like the name too. Spoof account Martini Seltzemeyer reported the EU Recovery Fund as worth 567 bajillion million per million euros. It's actually 750 billion, which DG Meme thought should make everybody happy. Join me again next week for more from the Starship Enterprise, I mean the Brussels bubble. And remember, if you want to sponsor an episode, do get in touch.